We just won this storage unit for $3,610. And this one gets hectic. So make sure you watch till the end. It all feels like a game until you go to the bank and you look at the bankers and they look at you like you're crazy and you take out $4,000 and you hold it in cash. Then it's real. There's no way to get this back if this goes back. We've made it. My heart is pounding. $4,200 for this storage unit. There's no in between. It goes one way or the other. This stuff's full and it's the biggest score of our life. It's all set up and it's the biggest loss of our life. There's no in between for this. Let's see what we got going on. Looks beautiful, but looks can be deceiving in this business and that's for sure. You ready to see if I go home crying or I go home crying tears of joy? Yeah, let's go. For reference, this box right here, this Celestron, is a telescope that's going for around $2,000. The big box in the back is a Millennium Falcon Star Wars statue that's listed at $13,000. So, I don't really care about Christmas lights, but yay! Christmas lights, just what I wanted. Yeah, we got that. We want the big collectibles. First thing, this is the telescope box in I got a name right there and an address, so I will know all I need to know about this guy. Right. If it goes negative, I got him. And let's see what's in here. So, we looked this brand up. This, is this one of those boxes? Oh, it's not, this is just a plain box. Okay, the box is next <laughs> to it. Yeah. Their same size are for a really expensive telescope brand. Where is the blade? All right, so the first, let's see what's in this guy right here. Well, come on, buddy. Come on, come on. Come on, oh, that's not good looking. That is not good looking. That's not what we want to see. What is this right here? This is, oh look, a PayPal thing for a Pontiac Fiber transmission light tail or something. Okay, okay. that, I don't think that's what this is though. Mm, let's see though, it's still tape. You know what I mean? Like if this is all empty, they went through some effort. This isn't just clearly set up. So. Some part of a firebird, a tail light? Tail light. I guess that's a good thing. Let's see what's in the little white box here. It's got weight to it, but not tea kettle weight. Actually, I never owned a tea kettle, so I can't even tell you what that's supposed to weigh. Ah, yeah, it does have tea kettle weight. That's in there. Two for two, two for two. But I gotta say, even though that stuff's in there, this is the low end stuff. This isn't what we're worried about. Now the first big thing, what is that? Alien, Alien like a game something? set? Oh no. I don't like the feeling of this one bit. But we're about to see. I don't know how much it weighs. Let's see. Come on, come on, open it's supposed up. Supposed to be a statue of some sort. Oh, if it is, it's gotta be, if it's in there, it's gotta be made of nothing. I don't think it is. Fish, <sighs> open up, you. It is the most definitely nothing. That, okay, two out of three, two out of three. I'm not gonna lose hope yet. I'm not gonna lose hope yet. Two out of three is in there. Stupid thing. What about this box down here? Something? Okay, it's got something in it. Let's see what it is. What is the something? Uh, there's a Logitech and a PlayStation 2. Okay. okay, okay, and we're getting somewhere. A data transfer suite. Unfortunately, this isn't huge or nothing. This is about 100 bucks right here, but it's got two memory cards. It's got a wireless controller. That's a good thing right there. So 100 bucks, not bad. Let's see what's in the pill. No, I'm joking. Mm. This, just a pillow, all right? <laughs> The pillow's in there. This stuff here, what about this box? That doesn't feel good. This feels very light, but I don't know what it's supposed to be. Saturn? Saturn V? Okay, we know the dude's a space guy, so maybe this is some type of astronomy stuff? Let's see what that is. There's nothing in there. That is empty styrofoam. I don't know how to feel right now. Like half of it's been crap and half of it's been cool. What about this box? Well, cool. Well, we found a PlayStation A PlayStation, too. this. It's gonna be empty. I can just tell you right now. It's gonna be empty. Let's see. That's my key. Well, I was holding it for you so you can open boxes. Look, the certificate of authenticity for it. But is it in there? That's the question. No. 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 But it could be in another box. They might have kept the box separate. We don't know right now. We don't know. What about this one here? Well, I'm not liking Obvious. this. <laughs> I'm not liking this right now. I'm not liking this right now. If it was a $200 unit and I found a PlayStation 2, that's already half my money back. But at a $4,200 unit, we got a long way to go. That sounds like something's in there. Let's see. Uh, open up, you. What is it? It's a Harrier. My Model Warfare 2 people. All right. Let's see. Come on, model planes or model vehicles in general are really light, so it doesn't have to be heavy. Well, nope. nothing in there. 
That's not what I wanted to see. Little background on the former owner of this storage unit right now. So remember, he defaulted on this unit because he can't afford to pay for it, right? Let's go into a little bit of detail. Current job, chief technologist at this company. I did a little Google search to see the average salary. And what do you know? A glass door portfolio. That position makes $110,000 to $200,000 a year. Let's go into the past a little bit. Software architect, director of special projects, science technology team lead, senior computer science, lead software engineer, programmer, at freaking NASA, and not to mention studied at Cornell University, which is an Ivy League school. You think this guy can't afford to pay for his storage unit? Get out of here. What about this guy here? Oh, look, it's got an open door. Well, easy. not what we want to see. Star Trek. Well, I'm not liking this so far. I'm not liking this right now. Come on. PSP? PSP? Please? Ooh, what is that? What is this? The booklet, maybe? Probably. Well, we found the PlayStation 2 in a random box, so that could be somewhere random, too. What about this design CAD thing right here? What the heck is this? Design CAD 3D in 2D? Let's open that up and see what it is. Oh, yeah, just, just, just what I wanted. Actually, I don't really know if it's um floppy disk software. Like, it might be that old to where it was actually on floppy disk, so. I don't really know what the software is, to be honest with you, but it looks like some old school design software. Maybe this is floppy disk has something written on them. How do I open this thing? It's been a long time. Hey, look, yeah, look, Design CAD 2.0. So it actually is on the floppy disk. Let's go to these Star Trek toys. Now these boxes they showed in the picture were empty, which to me was like a good sign because the, the fact that the owners of the facility showed it means they weren't trying to rip you off. But the problem is the scamming in the storage world is a two layer thing. Just because the facility can be completely innocent, but then the guy here, the way the laws work, if they owe this facility 500 bucks and this unit sells for 4,200, guess what? The difference, they get a fat $3,700 check because of it. So it's a lot of double layered scamming here. This one, again, I knew it would be empty. Now is one of the big questions. Uh, almost right, one of the big questions. Empty as well. This right here, if that telescope's in there, that's a lot of money. If it's not, we're in trouble. And unless it weighs about 0.2 pounds, it's not in there. Let's see. Oh, beautiful. Just what I wanted to see. Absolutely. Anything in here? Nothing. Nothing. And nothing. Ah, oh, that's not good. That's not good at all. Let me explain how this scam works for those of you that aren't in this type of business. You rent a unit, which as I showed earlier, could be as cheap as $35 for your first month. Some places even do it for a dollar your first month. And what you do is you go in your rented unit now, this facility has no idea what you're doing. You go in there and you put boxes and boxes of toys just like that, collectibles, electronics, everything to make that thing look super appealing to somebody. And then you just don't pay. If you don't pay, after three months of non-payment, that facility will auction off your unit. Say you were paying a hundred bucks a month, right? And after three months, you owe the facility $300 now, but then they auction your unit because you didn't pay. It now sells for $3,000. The facility is only allowed to keep what you owed them. So if you owed them $300 and that unit now sells for 3,000, guess what? You get a fat $2,700 check for doing nothing. People like this guy, he can afford $100 a month. They set it up and then people like us, we think we're getting collectibles and then boom, we get there. We get empty boxes, we're out our money, and they get it to them. There's a term for that that I like to call theft by deception. Look it up. Gemini Aces, it's like a fighter jet or something. Up under the styrofoam, come on, come out. Nothing, oh man. This is not looking good, this is not looking good. The only thing that's thrown me off thus far from thinking it's a total setup is the random PlayStation 2. So I'm not gonna lose all hope yet. What about this guy? A box under the styrofoam. And let's see. Well, it's just styrofoam. Tell me why somebody wanted to tape a hockey stick to a weight bar. I'm not even gonna question it. I'm just gonna set it back inside there. What about this guy, Lunar Roving Vehicle Exploring the Moon? Ooh. Uh, well, it's got styrofoam instead of the other ones. Let's see. <sighs> Absolutely nothing. Man, there's quite a few boxes like this. So if this one's empty, I'm not liking our odds on some of the other ones. What about this precision scale model? <sighs> there's not even a point in opening. Actually, I need to open one of these to make sure it's not something that's super light. But based on what I feel, I'm not liking it. Let's see. 
and absolutely nothing. This is not looking good. This is the worst fear I had on the way to here. I thought about this for three hours on the drive here of this possibility. Empty, empty right here. This one here, absolutely even lighter than the other one. This one here, well, shocker. Absolutely empty. This isn't looking good. This is the Celestron box again, the same telescope brand. So let's see what's inside. Please first, what is this Canon thing? Oh, look, another empty box. Just what I wanted, another one. But what about this big guy here? All right, come here. Wow, absolutely nothing inside the box. This is not looking pleasant right now. What about the big box underneath? Can we at least get that one? Pretty please, pretty please with sugar on top. And is it a box with a box with styrofoam in it? This, this is not good. Well, there's an Alienware computer, which is really expensive box, but I have a feeling this box is gonna feel very light. Oh, look at that. What the heck? It's a box full of empty boxes. This, this is exactly what I paid for. Look, Xbox 360 controller, empty. Netgear Wi-Fi extender, empty. Look in here. It's just a whole empty box full of empty boxes. That's that's what we do this for. You know, I hope this dude got a lot of reindeer crap and coal in his stocking, because he's a kind of an a-hole right now. But we'll see who gets the last laugh. We'll see what the police got to say about this in a little bit. We'll see. Ooh. Yeah, let's see what the police got to say about it. Okay. Because they're pretty much letting a scam go on if they say they do nothing about it. So there, the pedals, they're there. At least there's that. There's something. I mean, I don't know what pro pedals are going for, but at least it's not an empty box. That's a positive. What about this keyboard? That's completely empty. A pillow right here. Oh, look, there's the PlayStation 3 boxes that we can kind of see in the pictures. I wonder how this is going to feel. Oh, shock. It's actually got a little bit of weight, but not enough for the console. So let's see what's in there. Maybe there's some games or controllers at least or something like that. No, it's not even close. It's not even PlayStation stuff. It's Orion junk. I mean, yeah, it's just used to store crap. More boxes. Yeah, it's just, just what I wanted. More boxes of boxes. Like, think logically for a second. Do you think anybody in the entire world goes to a facility and says, I want to rent a five by 10 storage unit so I can store empty boxes. I don't want to break them down and stack them into like a five by five. I want to put them in a five by 10, open them up, set them on top of each other and make sure all the writing is facing the outside. You think that happens? <laughs> I'll answer that for you. No, no, it doesn't. <laughs> this PlayStation 3 right here. Let's see. Feels no console for sure, but oh look, it's a box of boxes. Oh no, it's actually got some of the wires in it. No, it's got That's one wire. This, it's empty too. It's got one wire. Oh boy. Oh boy, just what I wanted. Guess what? I moved the chair and look what I see. A Nintendo Wii box and a Sony PlayStation box. Oh boy. Let's see what's in there. First, what's in the bag right next to it first. Let's see if there's anything in here. Ooh, paperwork with probably more of this guy's stuff on it. So we have all his information, which is a good thing to go to the cops for. But this, this might be the PlayStation 2 we found. It is a PS2 Slim, so if this isn't in here, that doesn't necessarily mean anything. But look, controller, new, uh, AV cables. What's in the bottom one? No, the console is not in there. And that's because, like we just said, it's probably the one that we already found. So there's that. The Wii box, oh, look at that. Eh, it's got a little bit of weight, but I don't think it has enough weight for the console. I'm gonna say instruction manuals, to be honest with you. Let's see. Open up. Yep. Yeah. No console. Wii Sports. Most valuable game ever. No console again. But let's move this super heavy box. It's got a lot of random magazines in it. These look like some type of foreign car magazines. This one, maybe some type of Star Wars. There's Yoda, so I'm going to guess something to do with Star Wars, but it's all magazines. And I don't know if this box under here is also magazines. It says free gifts. Charity free gifts. Oh boy. Where did the knife go? In my pocket. Hold I on. need that back. I know. Thief. I meant to put it back on my finger. Give me that. Steeler. <laughs> Pittsburgh Steeler. No. Uh, let's see what's in here. Uh, oh boy. There's a classic Hot Wheels Series 3. Is this like a real classic? I doubt it's from 2006, so it's just meant to look classic. And then we got some randomness, an address book, some maps. 
Can you imagine? Like, I got some stuff to donate to charity. What is it? Some old maps. Mm -hmm. uh, a planner. There's his name again. Uh, yeah, there's not looking like there's going to be anything in there. We got a little outdoor light box. We got a 10 inch glazing ball or gazing ball. At least that's in there. I mean, that's a solid like five bucks all day. <laughs> Then we got, oh look, we got new shelves. Well, I guess that tells you all you need to know about that one. <laughs> yeah. This one here, I mean, maybe five bucks again. That's gotta be $10 there. And I'm gonna guess because this went tumbling. Oh look, another empty box that was perfectly stacked up with all the readable collection stuff on the side, visible from the front to take pictures for. How coincidental. Oh my god, this box is so heavy, full of nothing. I'm just lying. <laughs> I'm trying to pump you up, like I'm trying to pump myself up here. I'm trying my best. Let's see. We got, oh look, a TV box that's empty. That's shocker. I mean, that's like surprise of the year, right? Yeah. Absolute surprise of the year. An empty, it's even taped shut. You know, don't wow. you always do that? You don't tape your empty TV boxes shut? No. What's wrong with you? I thought that was the new thing. With nothing but styrofoam, but it's closed. That's always what you do. If I was gonna take, buy a new TV, I would definitely take my old box, tape it shut, and then put it in the storage unit to where the top was visible. That's exactly what I would do. If, of course, you know, I'm a scammer <laughs> slash thief slash robber, is what I would do. 21st century, oh, that, I don't know what this should weigh, actually, so I don't know if this is in there. It's got a little bit of weight to it, but I don't know what it is. Some type of home star, 21st century planetarium? I don't know. No, oh, that's not in there, so that doesn't look good. What about the main compartment? It's not even, what, what is this? I don't even know what that's supposed to be. That thing? What? <laughs> yeah, that's totally what I keep there. Okay, this here, this one's empty, it feels like, unless it's really light. Like I said, because I don't know what these are, I gotta open the boxes and see, because I don't know what they're supposed to weigh. Oh, the paper and the cardboard, that's what I would keep in there. Let's throw that aside, because it's junk. Now, we got this. It better feel heavy. Oh yeah, it feels really heavy, guys. Just colossally heavy. It's gonna be absolutely packed with nothing. Open, open, how do I get it to open? Oh. Ow. Sorry. Nothing, absolutely nothing. I'm just gonna burn the stress and the calories away here. Luckily, when it's like 90, I think it was 98 when we came in here with the humidity out here in the East Coast, you don't really need much of a workout to burn it because right now it says it feels like 102 in here and this one's not climate controlled, so it's bad. You want a Keurig? Yeah. I got one for you. Well, Appreciate it. I got the box. Oh. Because there's nothing in it, like everything else. Get out of here. What about this box? Ooh, yes, another stacks perfectly empty box to stop stuff, stack stuff on because that's how people store stuff. This is empty. <laughs> Right there. I was like, I don't even know how to tell you how to get that open. Uh, what about this one right here? Oh, wow. It really feels like it's got something great in it. You know what it feels like it's got in it? Huh. Styrofoam and cardboard. Yay, look. Oh, look, it's even got the piece still in it. That would cover up the original statue, but there's no statue in here. Nope, there's absolutely nothing in there besides an empty box. I got trash bags full of cushions. I bet those are in there. Yeah, uh, I'd say so. I'd say so too. We got that. This box here, another statue. Oh, Rebel Starfighter statue. Look at this. It feels like a really light Rebel Starfighter, I'll tell you that. Oh look, it's got the piece with nothing again. again. Oh, look at that! Completely empty. This is another Apollo box, which is like the others. Completely empty. We're running out of room here. All these empty boxes everywhere. But you know, that's how people store them, logically, of course. Who doesn't break down boxes first, besides everybody ever? Oh, look at this, the big Millennium Falcon box. Completely empty with the styrofoam. But at least, you know, if I was gonna store it, I would also make sure it's all the way in the back with the open part covered with just enough information showing to see what's in it because that's how it's done. We got a Beanie Baby. That's worth a solid 75 cents. Blu-ray, that, uh, ooh, look at the Sega Genesis box. Something tells me though, it's just a box. But you know, I don't know what it is exactly. I'm just getting this inner feeling that it's gonna be just a box, you know? Where's it coming from? I don't know. I don't know. Well, let's hope it's in there still. Of course we'll hope it's in there. But right now it's like, you know, say we got a light bulb and we take it outside and we drop it on the pavement 69 times and it breaks and we're like, 70th time. Is it gonna break? Is it gonna break? No, this time it's not. I just, 
you know, that is a Blu-ray player. That's a solid ten dollars. But the question is, is this in here? Mm, maybe. Oh look, it's even got hangers in there for oh, you. Oh boy. Well, Sega Genesis arcade graphics. It has a decent amount of weight to it, but I don't know if it's enough for the Genesis itself. Let's see. The booklets have a lot of weight to them. That's the problem. It is... Hey! What? What? It's in there. Maybe the 70th time, it doesn't break. We got plushies. Don't, don't you want a plushie? Oh my gosh. Maybe. Remember the nostalgia for these? Taco Bell dog. Yo quiero Taco Bell? Uh, no, not quite. In the thing. There is... Is this the Princess Diana one? I think that one's... Purple. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. Purple. The one that everybody says is worth like ten thousand dollars, but really trades for about nineteen if you look at it on eBay. Outside of like the you know BS listings to try to knock the price up. Let's get this guy out of here. What about this here? Oh, oh ooh, okay, okay. I think I see Dreamcast controllers. We're going in the right direction. We are. We are. See, it's getting better. Okay, okay. Hey, I looked up the dude's social media Facebook page. This picture right here. Oh, I wonder if it's that guy. <laughs> There's his exact picture. It's the profile picture. Yeah, his profile picture's right there. Oh, Dreamcast. So we got some Dreamcast controllers. I mean, that's better than nothing. Some VHSs down here. A Porsche thing. What's this right here? Stop. Oh, it's a can of... I've always wanted to give this to somebody. Yeah. Maybe like the dude who owned this freaking unit. Is he going to punch me if I open it? I don't know. No. <laughs> this is oh it's a citation is it i might have to give him one go find this dude i might have to go find him and you know give him, give him a can because i think he deserves a can after this right now the abyss i'm looking for like old school horror movies or wwe are the ones that are usually worth the money but yeah not seeing it in there this box is literally all vhs's that's not good let's get back here Ugh. first this white tv box is that what's in there Let's see. Ugh. It looks like an old computer monitor, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it looks like it might be. Let's see if I can get this box out here. All right, okay, I'm being, I'm being assaulted. <laughs> get out of here, beanbag chair. This right here is a few soccer balls and some shoes. Meh. This right here is... Eh. Come here. Come here. Okay, this looks like it could be cooler. Let's get it to the chair. Okay. That was rough. Are these all old camcorders? Well, this is an old camcorder box. This one here, I don't even know what that is. Some old software or something. Greetings card. And well, yeah, all the boxes in there are empty. I just found a hundred in cash. Unfortunately, it's just not US cash. Boo. So I'm sitting here reading stuff online. We finished going through everything in that unit. It's all empty crap. Other than the Sega Genesis, we got a $200 score out of a $4,200 unit. That's about it. And I'm sitting there thinking and reading about the laws behind this. And to me, this seems like the clearest case ever of theft by deception. Obviously set up to make it look like there's a bunch of collectibles in there so they can get the fat check from the storage facility. I'm thinking we need to call the local police department right here and I want to talk to them and tell them exactly what happened and see if they agree this is a case of theft by deception because in my eyes, I don't see how it could be anything else. So I'm gonna go ahead and give them a call right now. I have no idea if they're gonna basically tell me, you know, you took a chance and lost, which is true. I get that side of the story, but at the same time, that guy knew what he was doing. That wasn't left there accidentally. That, that's called fraud. So let's go ahead and give them a call and see what they say we should do. I don't know if I should talk on the phone or go in person. So we're just gonna call them and ask. Let's see. <laughs> Communications. Hi, I have a question for you. I've had like a really specific situation that I, I feel could be considered either theft or fraud. And I don't know if I need to come in to talk to somebody up there, somebody I could talk to over the phone just to see if I'm right in my thinking. What's going on? So it's really specific. Um, we we travel and buy like those uh, storage units, like the TV show. And there's this been this problem going on where people are setting these things up and defaulting on them on purpose because the law states that if they owe the facility six hundred and it sells for three thousand, they get a twenty four hundred dollar check in the mail. So they're basically you know renting a unit for a month, 
setting them up to look like it's something great and then auctioning it off so they're getting a fat you know two three thousand dollar check in the mail and then when you get to it like today it's what happened to us we get here and it's just stacks of empty boxes like it's just set up fraud and i found the guy who owned the unit it's not like he couldn't pay it he had a job at nasa he had a job as an engineer so it's not like he's you know lacking the funds and defaulting realistically it's just is setting him up and based on his facebook profile he still has a job yeah he still has a, like a good paying like i found like i said based on his shipping labels in the unit i could find where he, he had a nice house nice job and it just none of it makes sense okay and are you currently in st mary's county yeah I, well i actually I, we live in chesterfield virginia but we came over here to buy a unit in um lexington park maryland is where we're at right now okay to be able to report this you would need to speak to one of the officers and I'm, if you're coming here from out of town, your best bet would probably be to be go to the headquarters in Leonardtown. Okay. Is that... Do you have the address for that? Or yes, let's, I do. Okay. Let me get that, please. It's going to be... Okay, I got it. And that's the sheriff's office is what it shows up as on Google? Yes, the St. Saint, the Saint Mary's County Sheriff's Office. It's going to be on the left-hand side of the building. Okay, all right. I'll see what they say. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Bye-bye. Good job. I guess we're going to go see what they think about this. At this point, instead of going straight to the police department, we figured we'd go inside and see if we could talk to the employee who can then talk to one of the higher ups in the company because they really have no say in it. You know, they're just working there. So our goal was to be able to deal with the storage facility and have this whole thing resolved through them because my thinking is if they're sending this guy a check, why is there a fight? Like, why do you care if this guy's getting the money? You know what I mean? It just makes no sense. So, but if not, the police are coming. And guess what? The police are coming. I was wondering, I know you can only do so much, but is there any way that I could talk to like the district manager, whoever would handle something like that? Because just to let you know from our side, we've had this happen before and it's getting old, honestly. Yeah. And if we can't settle it with you guys, then we would probably just go to the police station or something and see what they can do, I mean, for, with these owners. And if we can get it resolved with you, that's best, easiest case scenario. Yeah. But if we have to go to the police and do it, it's just gonna get escalated. And then yeah. usually if we do that, the facility calls us and be like, hey, like, it's gonna go live on YouTube. So like, the facility calls us like, hey, can you take it down? And we're like, no. Like, oh, you YouTubers? Yes. Okay. So it's What's your channel? <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's uh, treasure hunting with Jeebus. Okay. So I mean, it's it's a lot of drama that goes down when I will when we when we do that. Um, like I said, easiest case scenario, we can settle it with extra space. Whoever I need to talk to. Yeah. Otherwise, it goes to police. We put the story out on YouTube, and it goes from there. So I definitely try to help as best as I can. Could. Um, so I did talk to management and management did say it is, um, you know, the auction right. is the risk you take. Right. Right. Um, I do understand that part. I understand where you're coming from. Mm. Um, the law wise that it could be fraud by like conning. I mean, we've already talked about emergency and they just told us to go to the sheriff's department. So okay. I just, um, I want to let you know where we're coming from. This is what our plan is. And I just want to know who to talk to. I understand. I understand your frustration. Um, there's only so much that I can do. I know. I know you. I just want to see who I can get into contact that is above you. I can have um, the upper management team reach out to you. But when would that be? Um, it. He's not back until tomorrow. Okay. There's nobody that would be available today? Um, I don't think today because we do close at 6 o'clock right. and it does take like 48 hours for them to get out to people. Okay. Um, but I can definitely put it through to them. Okay. I guess in that case, I will, I guess, talk to my husband and see. Maybe he has another idea that I'm not thinking about right now. But I just feel like there there would be someone that... Yeah. Oh, sorry. It, it's just, I always do, just for my safety and yours, you can't say that I said or did anything and vice versa. Okay. So I, I just feel like there has to be a person that I can talk to like now. Because you can get in contact with them. Why can't I talk to them? It's a thing. Okay. I can only do so much. Yes. I've already contacted upper management. Mm -hmm. I can have them reach out to you. There's no direct number to them. Okay. No anybody else outside of district manager? No. I no. mean, are you are the assistant store manager, so right. there's an actual store manager and, she, and then and district she manager. She is on vacation. Okay. If you would like, I can see, I can call them now while it's before 6 o'clock. Mm -hmm. Um... 
understand your frustration. I understand you came here with your camera. Yeah. Um, I don't know if you're doing this for the camera. No, but, no. Okay. I mean, this is legitimate. Everything that we bring forth to anybody is legitimate. I'm not trying to entertain. Okay. It's just, like I said, it's a, it's a bunch of frustration that's like just basically coming to a head. I understand. I just don't, I just didn't want, <laughs> you know. And I'm not, and like I said, I'm not trying to call you out. No, yeah, I'm not trying to call you out at all. I'm not, you've been helpful to us thus far. Yeah, no, and you I made have. the call, like, I appreciate that. Yeah. But like I said, at the same time, it's coming to a head. I just, I want to get something resolved because it's getting old. Okay. Um, if you can get, just have a seat over there. And yeah. Just, um, okay. So the employee there couldn't help us because the manager's already gone. So now we are heading to the police station because, yeah, this is a three hour drive for us. And I don't want to come back over here if there's no point to this. So we're going to go figure it out and see what we can legally do if they refuse to refund the money because yeah we're it's just sick of people getting away with this and the whole idea of oh you bought it you took a risk that's true in most cases but when they're setting them up like this i mean it's the perfect crime everyone gets away with it what can you do so i'm, I'm hoping if we do this go to the police and they do something we can set some kind of precedent that like no nah, this ain't gonna fly no more Guys, we need your support more than ever right now, so please leave the video a thumbs up, leave a comment saying this storage unit is a scam, and share it everywhere you can. Social media is the only tool we have to fight back with, the only tool. So if we can show that there's a big community of people that are done with this, we can make a difference. I promise you that. That is a really weird situation. Okay, what you got? Okay. So we we have a YouTube channel where we buy like, abandoned storage units. I don't know if you've seen the TV show like that. I've seen the... The I, fake show. I, yeah, I've watched a lot of TV, but I don't yeah. Yeah. yeah, so we basically done that and there's been a problem around it. We know a lot of people that do this around the country too. And there's been this issue where people are bought and renting the unit and then setting it up and defaulting on purpose because like a lot of the state laws say now that say the other facility 450 and it sells for 3000 that that difference goes back to the guy. They're setting it up to where it looks like, you know, there's like $10,000 worth of collectibles and then we get there and it's just empty boxes, just stacked up empty boxes, nothing there. And the problem the facilities say, you know, there's nothing they can do about it because it's you taking a risk. But it's like, that, to me, I feel like it has to be like almost like theft by deception or some type of fraud because they're setting it up to look like that. That's what you're saying. Because that whole like, check thing is like weird. Yeah, because I didn't know that was a thing for the longest time. We talked so, to... Just so I'm hearing you right. Mm -hmm. You're been going... Right. Yeah, ever since... Units, yeah. And they're set up to make it look like they're full of stuff. Right. You bid on them and you're going through there just empty. Yeah, right. exactly. So ever since COVID happened, they used to do it in person where you can kind of, you know, walk around. But since then, they've gone completely online. So we're going off nothing but pictures. And then they won't let you see it until you've exchanged the cash at the facility. So it's like, I give them the cash and take you over there. It's empty boxes. So like the one we just got today, this is why we're here. We're from Virginia. We came here, drove three hours, and paid $3,600-something dollars because there was like a bunch of these collectible statues. And if they were in there, it was like $17,000 worth of statues. All empty boxes. And I'm like, they can't convince me that somebody's paying for a storage unit where they're just storing empty boxes stacked up and to you know yeah, oh. <laughs> oh. it's just crazy <laughs> so like from our side like as it's an it's like a civil issue is it kind of it's borderline I don't, you paid you said uh, like almost four grand yeah, yeah if you include the fees for the site it was 4200 but to the facility it was like 38. so if i was you I would take all those photographs, your mm -hmm. contracts, everything you, you've you taken. You yeah. take whoever you bought it from to small claims court. Anything under five grand, you go to small claims court without hiring a lawyer. Okay. You can let a judge decide on what's right, what is, what's right and what's wrong. Okay. Because, you know what I mean? Yeah, and the problem with what I just don't know what to do is because I understand like the storage facility, they're just kind of, you know, the middle ground. Like they're not getting involved. In my opinion, they're not getting involved. It's just- How are they not involved? Because they're just, and I think they're just renting a unit to somebody and they're just saying, you know, I'm going to go rent it and they set it up and then they don't pay. So then they go to auction the guy's stuff. So the owners. Yeah, like, the person that come in, comes into the facility is to um, rent it. And they just say that, you know, they act like a customer. In your, in your mind, who's taking, who's benefiting here? The owners of the, the, not the facility, the person that's going in to rent the unit. They're acting like they're normal customers and they're just wanting to rent these storage unit, then they just don't pay for it. Because a lot of these places like Extra Space, they'll offer you one month for free. So they'll come in, put their stuff up there, make it look all beautiful, and then just never pay. So then if they don't pay for three months, it goes to auction. And then whatever, they like say it's 150 a month and they owe the facility 450, and like the one we just bought for 3800 Extra Space gets the 450 and then the other 33. <laughs> 
Yeah, that, I don't know. I never checked the mayor limit of Virginia. That's how like it works. If it goes whatever it sells for over what they owe the facility, that guy gets the money back. And I'm assuming that's how. No, it would be. <laughs> that's where it becomes like a civil issue because there's contracts involved. Yeah. And, like we don't get involved in like contracts. Mm -hmm. You okay. know what I mean? Yeah. Um. It's just, it's just a weird situation. Yeah, but it's like. Definitely. But in a way, it's like almost like if I was the bad guy, it's like a perfect crime because right. like, you just say you're renting a unit. And well, I wouldn't be buying stuff online. Like, yeah. I put my hands on it. Yeah, I wish it was like that. That's how, that's how it used to be. That's how it was fun. Yeah. 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 I would, um, where do y'all from again? Virginia Park. Yeah, Chesterfield. Uh, Chesterfield. Chesterfield. It's just so crazy. Yeah, like, it's, it sounds like a civil issue. And has this happened to you more than one time? Uh, yeah. Is this the first time? This is the first time here. It happened to us. Like, we did a thing where recently we went across the country buying, and we, the same thing happened to us in Oklahoma. We bought a unit with a safe, and these uh, rifle cases go in there. Everything's empty. You Everything. open the door, nothing's in there. Yeah. That's just empty. Wait, what? No, the, the cases are in there, but they set it up like, this is what they did. They had a, a gun safe pointed to the back. Uh -huh. Then they had one old rusty shotgun, and then a bunch of, you know, rifle cases stacked up. Every case was empty. That thing was unfunctional, and the safe was broken and faced the other way. So it's like... They know what they're doing. <laughs> yeah. It's just so hard to... And like you said, if they get a check from it, it is the perfect crime. Like, I mean, you're just deceiving left and right, profiting from it. And then the facilities, like, sometimes they'll get mad on our side because they think we're trying to pull one over in them. Like, oh, you just didn't get what you want, so you want your money back. Like, right. oh, these people are defrauding people left and right. Yeah. <laughs> See, it's... It's so weird. It is odd. <laughs> and me, I'm going to say it's a civil matter. You would have to mm -hmm. take it to... Like small claims court in you know that county or whatever. Yeah. However, I'm gonna run it through our detective sergeant. Okay. And see what they think. We'll talk to this. You know, it's Friday night. Nobody's right. Nobody's available now. Yeah. And then I'll I'll give you guys a call back next week when I find. Because I'm gonna tell you something being correct. <laughs> yeah. So, right. I know it's so like everyone I try to talk to. Like, it's such a weird niche it's, thing. It's, it's like <laughs> somewhere in the middle there, and I can see probably most. Um, yeah, because like I said, the facilities think we're trying to get over on them because like they don't understand that what they're doing. They think that we just oh we bought something bad now we want a refund. Like I bought a bad unit. Now it works <laughs> inside the storage facility. Like, I want you to default like if if you rent or let me say if I rent a storage mm -hmm. unit from your facility, yeah. all right, and I'm defaulted by four months, you go take my lock off and you put yours on there and it mm -hmm. belongs to you now. That's true. Yeah. But I think legally, I don't know about how it is here. That's but, where there's contracts coming. Yeah. Around. And that's where it becomes a civil issue. Because also a lot of states, like, they're, I don't know how it is here again, but they're not allowed, the facility's not allowed to enter it or touch it or move it or anything like yeah, that. Yeah, I, I don't know. Yeah, it's me neither. My, it's so weird and it's different so much, like, state to state, yeah. so. You know, that's like, the other day I ordered some stuff online and I was like, man, that deal sounds a little too good to be Yeah. Good. And now I'm out a hundred bucks. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's like one of those things where it's like, if it seems too good to be true, it probably is. Yeah. But it's like, it's so hard because like we've been on both sides. Like I've got one, like a crazy, you know, those crazy good ones. And it's just, yeah, it's just, it, we've been doing it for like five and a half years now. And it's just ever since COVID happened and they took it online, it's just gone so shady. I mean, just like with everywhere, I just feel like people are just scamming more whenever they can. Yeah. So it's just it's it's definitely like it's I feel like the frustration's built up until this point. What's your, uh, what's your name? I mean I don't know how that that, yeah. that works. Um, it sounds to me like it's a civil issue, mm -hmm. and you would have to take it to small claims court and let a judge decide if you got scammed or not. Okay. You okay. know what I mean? Yeah. And, I mean. No, but it it's, sounds to me like I mean it's. Yeah, it's pretty. It's to me like instead it seems cut and dry. You know, it sounds yeah. to me like you got <laughs> scammed, and it's their intention was. To make you think there's all that in there. That you know what I mean? Yeah. However, they may be able to show that that's not the case. Right. So I don't know, and, and who owns what, and who owns. Yeah. But like in small claims court, if it you know if we went that route, like and they just said no, that wasn't my intention. Like is that just? Yeah, that's where a judge decides. Okay. Yeah. That, you know, an elected official. That's okay. Where they, that, that, <laughs> yeah. That's for them. Somebody okay. that has you know they they take everything into account and then they make a decision. Right. Where. You know they can decide on on if you were. I guess I just didn't know how how far they would take it, but like you said, it's probably the judge. I and mean, if I'm about five thousand dollars. Yeah. I'm taking somebody. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I felt like I was, you know, 
know, yeah. done wrong, I'm doing something about that. Yeah, that's that's the thing. Like I said, we bought bad ones, but there's a difference between like bad and intentionally set up to defraud, like fraud you like that. Like, you can tell the difference when you've done enough of them, and that yeah, is 100%. Again, so there's like, there's that where it's, I, I'm 99.5% sure it's a civil <laughs> issue. However, I will talk to to one of my bosses and let mm-hmm. them decide if it's, yeah, I will ask, but I'm, I got a feeling that's the, I've been doing this a little while. I got yeah. a feeling that's what they're going to say. Okay. So, um, how does that like I've never done anything like that in my life. Like, how would you even go about just go to courthouse? That's it. Link. Okay. Yeah, it's I mean, it's relatively simple. It's um when you wrote the check out, who'd you write the check to? It's they it's don't cash. take cash, they take cash only. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so some facilities do take card, they're cashless, which is great. The lady at the extra space, the employee. Assistant store manager. <laughs> Bought it online and yeah. they come here, give mm-hmm. them the cash, and then they gave you the keys. Yeah. Yeah. Does well, that sound about right? yeah. The, so we give them the cash. They go to with us to the unit and Unlock actually, it. yeah. So they have like their facility lock on it. They take the lock off and it has an auction tag on it like this. Yep. And we match it up with the the paperwork and then yeah. we tear that off and then we go in it. That's what I said. That's and then I, they leave. I think. I mean, I don't have. I think they're. I think they're just being taken advantage of. I don't think they're getting involved. I think they're just being used. Because of how the laws work. They're just the middleman. Just a crazy law, yeah. Because, I mean, it's so easy to just make tons of money like that. Yeah. And it's, if the facilities, like they said, they say, you know, it's buy at your own risk. To an extent, but, like, what's stopping me from, I can make $100,000 a month. And let a judge decide if they think you were being taken advantage of or not. And then if somebody will give you your money back. Okay. And if we do that, is that... Not only you got the 4200 but your time, your gas money, your... Now you got yeah. how much stuff, so you, you might have got a hundred dollars of stuff out Yeah, of I mean, like I said, if I sat on it, there was like one game console in there that could get like 150 and that's about it. Everything else like that was in the box was, was like, like Dollar sale. General shelf, a dollar general, like two dollars, two dollars, two dollars, so. Got you. <laughs> and yeah. yeah. I would go, I'm thinking the small planes route is mine. Okay. Opinion. Mm-hmm. And, um, but again, I'll, I'll come Monday, I'll ask the boss. Okay. And then I'll give you guys a call. So now you've heard what both the facility police say and the local police say. If small courts, small claims court, like he said, costs nothing, then that's an absolute no-brainer. Like, if we can't figure it out between extra space and they refuse to refund the money, absolute no-brainer we're going to court for this because there's no reason not to. So now it's Saturday. It's the next day. And we had a call while we were sleeping from one of the higher-ups at the storage facility. So... We're gonna go ahead and give them a call back and try to explain to him what he thinks is going on because I think a lot of times these facilities think we're trying to get over on them when in reality, they're just being played as the middle ground. They probably have no idea what's going on with this. So let's talk to him and see if we can get this resolved without having to make it legal. That would be great. This is Ian speaking. Who do I have the pleasure of speaking with today? Uh, this is Steven Frazier. We were the ones that had the auction problem yesterday. We didn't get your call this morning. Uh, yes, sir. How are you doing? All right. I guess. <laughs> so, can what, I... What can I do for you? So, the problem we think we're having, this is not just with you guys. I think this, you guys and other facilities are kind of being used as the middle ground for this scam. And what's happening, and we know other people around the country that are doing this, and... It's people that are setting their units up and defaulting on purpose. Cause I don't know the laws in Maryland, maybe you can help me with that in Virginia. If they owe you guys say 500 bucks and it sells for 2,500, that guy gets the remainder, the 2,000 sent back to them. So that's kind of the issue we're having now, like where you guys are being used is that middle ground. And I don't want, you know, the storage facilities think, oh, we're trying to get over on you. No, we're just trying to say, what can we do about this? Because people are getting screwed left and right. So from our position, that's the risk that is taken when you auction on a storage unit. Yeah, but at the same time, then what's stopping me from coming to your office, renting 25 units, and then just setting them all up and defaulting on purpose and making 100 grand off of screwing people? I understand. I understand. <laughs> but with, with how it stands right now, that's the risk that you take as an auction buyer that that is the unit that was sold. Right, but it's set up. Like there's a difference between buying a unit, like I, I see a refrigerator, I think it's gonna work, it doesn't, versus intentionally set up to screw you. And am I, can I ask you that question? Am I right in that, in Maryland, if it sells for like said $2,000 over, do the original renters get that difference back? Cause we're yeah, from Virginia. There is a difference, yes. See, that, there's no way that's not fraud, like theft by deception. That's exactly what's going on. 
And nobody, everybody I, seems well, to say that. What you're saying. I have spoken <laughs> with the auction tenant as well, and there were items in there of great value to him personally as well. Oh, sure. So, no, I mean, unless he like, eighty percent of that unit was empty boxes. Like that just f adds more fuel to the fire because he's lying straight to your face. Like. I looked up the shipping labels. I could find the guy's address. I could find his name and everything. He's not defaulting on a unit. He he has he worked at NASA. He's a base engineer. Like he doesn't. He's not defaulting on that unit because he can't afford to pay for it. There's like if he wanted it, he could have got it. <laughs> I found all his information. We ran we run a background check a lot of times on these facilities. Anytime this happens, and if the guy say he's struggling or something, I get it. Maybe they lost their unit. That's what usually happens. But. If you're working as a space engineer and you worked for NASA, there's no way you can't pay $150 a month. Like, it just doesn't make sense. <laughs> I mean, that's neither here nor there for us. Yeah, but it's set up. And at other time, who's gonna pay $150 a month to store empty boxes? You know what I mean? It makes no sense. There's no way. It's that... neither here nor, nor there for us. It's people rent the units for what they need the units for. Or yeah, what, so scamming people? Scam. That's what I'm saying. You're just. But everybody, this is like the tenth time the facility tells us this. You're just they're just letting them get away with it because they. I get the whole it's a risk thing, but this isn't a risk. This is like me selling you a Lamborghini and you buying it, and then open it up and it has an engine of a 1988 Ford in it. Like it's just straight scamming you or us, not you. Well, I mean, the risk is on your side, not on ours. We we went through the process the regular way that we usually go through, and this is what happened. Right, but I, the unit. Unfortunately, there's nothing of value in the unit to make up the difference. Yeah, but it's not a lean unit realistically. It's a setup scan. If it was really a lean unit, that's one thing. I Like I said, it's not, I don't believe extra space or any storage facility is setting this up. I just, you're being used as the middle ground. And that's the problem. Like, I don't know what else to do because if it goes live or goes to court, like, I mean, what are we gonna do? Cause it's not like it's a hundred bucks. If it's a hundred dollar unit and they set me up, it's whatever, I go on with my life. But you can't just let people keep getting away with this over and over and over again. Yeah, it's costing everyone like thousands of dollars. Like I said, we know people that this has happened to in Texas. It's happened in Oklahoma, California, New York. Like it's going all over the country and they're doing the same thing. They just set it up and then they let it auction it off. And then the storage facility managers like you guys are just like, that's the risk you take, which usually makes sense. But with this setup, like you're just letting people get away with fraud or death by deception. in our eyes. So that's why there's nothing else that we can do about it. You took the risk to buy a unit and that unfortunately doesn't have anything in it. Yeah, but that's not true. I mean, it's done legally. The auction's done through your eyes. But once you guys realize, I mean, if you just look at it, it's obviously what happened. It's obviously, like, it's common sense just looking at it. There's no way to not see it that way. I'm not saying it was wrong the way you guys did it. I'm just saying... What can you do or what can we do or what can other facilities do to prevent from being used as a middle ground? That's my problem because like I said, we've been doing this for a lot of years and it's like, it's only started to pop up over the last like year or so. Really since all you guys went online, like when Extra Space used to be in person, we never ran into this problems ever. But ever since you guys and everyone else went to, you know, storage treasure, storage auctions, this has just been happening left and right and left and right. And the police are always like, we've talked to the police on this one and other ones. They say, you know, take it to small claims court and whatever, but it just seems like a pain. Like, I don't want to go to do small claims court and all this because some guy's just trying to out scam you, guys, scam us by using you. And it just, it makes the facilities look bad. Even though in reality, I personally don't think you guys are doing anything. I just think you're the middle ground. I mean, that'd be something on a much higher scale than at the store level. But at the store level, like we've been saying, nothing illegal was done something illegal was done it just wasn't you that like, something illegal still happening it just wasn't extra space that you would like extra space to do what i wanted to do is to not send this guy a check like i'm i already know we're taking a massive loss i would be even willing to negotiate with you guys like don't send him a three thousand dollar check if you want to take seven hundred dollars or whatever you guys were owed from this guy that is i mean it's we're still losing i'm still mad but i don't care like it just it's making me mad that these guys are being sent. Like this guy's gonna probably make three thousand dollars by setting his trash up, and it's just bull crap. I don't even want you. Like if you guys are owed six fifty, I get they screw you too out of three months. But whatever. Like if I just don't want him getting three thousand dollars, <laughs> that's what my annoyance is. I mean, once all is said and done, extra space doesn't have anything to do with it. So. Yeah, but you like you told me earlier, you're gonna you guys are gonna say this and argue against it, and then go. In a month from now, whenever, write a check to this dude for three hundred three thousand dollars. 
Because I'm guessing y'all's rent's like 150 bucks a month for a 5x10. If he defaults, they auction it after three months. It's like 450 plus late fees or whatever. So I'm just guessing here. He probably owed you guys about 600 bucks. And then this sells for 3,600 or something. Like it's just set up perfectly. They know what they owe you. I'm assuming, that, like I said, he owed you right about that. So then right after you guys take your portion, fat check for $300 for empty boxes. And it just, like I said, I just don't want to have to deal with it legally. But at the same time, for $4,000, like, uh, yeah, I'm gonna, uh, I'm not just gonna take that loss. <laughs> right. So what can we do? Like I said, I, even if you guys don't send him a check and you refund what he would get to us and you cover your loss and we cover at least most of our loss, I don't understand how that's hurting anybody besides the guy that tried to set you up or set us up through you. We weren't, we weren't set up. Yeah. I don't understand what you're saying. We weren't set up. We what were I'm set up through you. standpoint is that the payment was made. Unfortunately, the remaining balance, once the balance has been paid up in full for our side, will be sent to him. Exactly. You don't see a problem with this? Like, it's so easy to do. Like I said, if I was a piece of crap like this dude, I could, like I said, I could just come to your office, rent 10 of them, go dumpster diving and put beautiful GameStop boxes in there and make $100,000. Like it's, this is, it's an issue. And it's like, I, I don't know how to change the law. And I think if you guys, I don't know if it's your policy or state law, I don't know how it works with that. If somebody could do something about this whole, them getting the refund check, I think this would go away. And I think that's the major issue. It's not that, like we said, you guys are just being used and we're the ones, buyers are the ones that are getting scammed because they're just using, you got, your guys is either, I don't know if it's rule or law, but they're just using that. And that's, I mean, that's, that's the reality of it. Every time we go through this and we talk about it, everybody just says the same thing, what you guys say, and then it just, you just like basically giving them a green light to keep doing it <laughs> because nobody will do anything. And that's as far as the company will take it. Why? Like why? Is that, can you know that personally? Is this, is that law or is that extra space policy that they get that um, refund check, a refund the difference? If I'm not mistaken, it would be illegal for us to hold on to the remaining balance of that. So yes, I do believe that does go straight to them. Yeah, but I'm asking you, is that y'all's policy or is that a state law is my question. And as far as I'm aware, it's the policy for us to do that through the company, yes. So they are going to give the money back. That's just how it is. Yeah, but that's that's bull. Like I said, you're the equivalent. Like if we apply this same logic to anything else in the world, you like you would realize how stupid it sounds. It's just because they have this policy. No, I'm I'm, I'm aware <laughs> of what you're saying. It is unfair that he will be getting back this money if it does turn out to be what you're saying it is. But there's no way for us to know that it is for certain. So that's why this is happening. It's he's going to be getting the money back. That's all I can say about that. But yeah, if that's the case, then really, I mean, like we're gonna, it's gonna be more complicated for us and everybody else involved. I was just literally just trying to make it easier. Cause it, yeah, cause like we, like I said, we went to y'all's local police department yesterday in Lexington Park and they told us this is 100% small claims court. So like really, like we're just gonna make this all way more complicated. And I mean, I don't know if it was you that opened the unit and took the pictures or if that was somebody else that did that. It's so obvious. Like it's nobody stores empty boxes to where the openings are covered, completely unseeable. Everything is readable on the boxes pointing towards the door in any, like, that's not logical. All you have to do is look at it and you know, that's what I'm saying. It's just, it just seems like we're gonna put every, us, you guys, this dude, like everybody's gonna go through so much more crap because of a stupid policy where they're letting people get away with this. That's how we're seeing it. Like it's just gonna make everybody's lives more complicated. You still there? I'm still here. I, I mean, I, I don't know what you expect me to do. Like I said, with it, within call it company policy, this is what's being, what's happening. All right, who, how about, can you let us, or let me, us talk to somebody that higher up in this facility? Because I believe like common sense would tell them like, yes, we don't want to deal with all this stupid stuff. We don't want to deal with court. We don't want to deal with police. I'm not even, at this point, I'm not even asking you to refund me all my money. I just want the money he's going to get back. I want to send a message to them. I'm literally still willing to take this fat loss of like whatever the heck he owed you for nothing. I just don't, I want to set a precedence. Cause like I said, we do this online and we, you know, that's what we do. We do this online through YouTube and Facebook and stuff. So it's like, we have a lot of people that watch this and get stuck in the same exact situation. The same exact situation. I get messages about it daily. 
not just X, it's extra space, it's public storage, it's cube smart, it's all of these guys that are being just used like this. And I'm not, like I said, I'm willing to take the L of whatever they owed you, but the whole fact that he's getting a check back, like that's crazy. I feel like we should be, we should be able to talk to and explain this to somebody higher up. I mean, I can reach out and we yeah. can see what's going on, but I mean, he's probably gonna say the same thing. So well, let be. me reach out and we'll mm -hmm. see what we can do. All right, well, they give me a call or you give me a call? Uh, I'm not entirely certain he's off on the weekend, so we'll, we'll see from there. All right, well, yeah, we'll look out for it. Okay, thank you for your time. Yep. They can't do nothing about it. And exactly what I thought, exactly what I thought. This dude's gonna get a fat $3,000 check. Does this make sense to anybody, anywhere? No, like I, I'm willing to lose lots of money and lose lots of time just to make this and show these people that this isn't gonna happen no more. So if they don't wanna refund it, I swear to God on my life, we're gonna take this to court because I don't even care about the money at this point. It's setting the precedence that this is just not gonna fly no more. So we'll see who wins in the end. Now it's a waiting game. We're waiting on both a call from the police department and the higher up at the storage facility. Until then, we can't do nothing. But I promise you, we're gonna get this resolved. I don't care about the money no more, I really don't. What I care about is putting a giant middle finger in the faces of the people that are thinking they're gonna keep getting away with this and screwing this up. Because if we continue, and I say we, I mean us and every other person that does this for a living, continues to let them just get away with it and say, yeah, it's okay, it's the risky tape, go on to the next one, it's just gonna get worse. It's gonna get worse and worse and worse. Nothing's gonna get better until we actually do something about it and fight back. So that's what we're doing here today, guys. Leave it a thumbs up. Put in the comments that this storage unit is a scam. Share the video, please. And when we get an update from everybody, we'll let you know. Thank you so much. And until next time, peace out.